There's a possibility that rural areas where no commercial electricity is available will be able to switch on the lights and have clean drinking water. This is thanks to a new system called Hydro Aero Power that uses wind power from a windmill to generate electricity and provide clean water. The technology has been developed by the Free State University of Technology and a private company in Bloemfontein. The project has been entered into the World Bank Lighting for Africa competition. Esther de Klerk has more. Using a windmill to pump underground water to the surface is ancient technology. This concept has now been taken a step further. It's also being used to help generate electricity. We use the water pumping windmill, which is old technology, to pump water up a hill to a reservoir. It then flows downhill through a turbine, which generates electricity and obviously gives the water free as a byproduct. The key to this new concept is the South African developed and Canadian manufactured turbine and a well-known compact battery pack. The system is supplied by a conventional windmill which extracts water from underground via a borehole or a stream. It pumps the water to a height of at least 50 meters above the ground where it is stored in a reservoir tank. From there it flows down through a hydroelectric turbine fitted to it. This connection charges a battery pack fitted to the turbine and there's sufficient electricity generated for household use. We believe we can get internet interconnectivity, we can give free TV at night, and we can help the kids with, gear, with lighting for their homework. A fully charged battery will give at least four hours of television viewing. It takes about eight hours to fully charge a battery. The system can also provide around 50,000 litres of potable water a day. This is enough to provide water to a village of about 1,500 people. The water can be used for potable water to solve the cholera problem and obviously for irrigation purposes as well. The complete system, including the windmill and the turbine, costs between 50 and 200,000 rand. The battery pack adds another 3,000 rand. This could put it out of reach of most people living in rural areas. And it will only most likely be with the help of NGOs that these systems could be erected in these far-flung areas. Esti de Klerk, Business News, Bloemfontein. Just as no country has remained untouched by AIDS, so too has no sector remained entirely immune. Until recently, most in the business sector assigned responsibility for the pandemic to governments, activists or the public health community. There is a growing experience, however, multinational companies to small and medium enterprises.